Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Bobby Fischer and Karl Robach. game was played in Varna in 1962. Bobby Fischer had white pieces in this game, and he started with e4. Black played d5, Scandinavian defense. e takes d5, queen takes d5, and knight to c3, standard move. Queen a5 is a very popular move in this position. Karl Robach played queen to d8. d4 was played, and now black played g6. This is Ilunden variation of Scandinavian defense. Bishop to f4, bishop to g7, and queen to d2. Bobby Fischer has a very simple plan. He is going to castle queenside, and uh, he expects, of course, black to castle kingside, and he is going to launch pawn storm against castle king. Okay, let's see how the game continued. Knight to f6, castling queenside. Now black can castle, but he played c6. The idea is to bring queen to a5 to launch counterattack. And now instead of developing bishop or knight, Fischer played bishop to h6. Black castled, and now h4. Attack has started. Black played queen a5, preparing counterattack and a possible pawn storm. The idea is perhaps to push uh, b5 pawn to b4 to chase the knight to capture the pawn on a2. h5, offering the pawn. Black takes. Bishop played bishop to d3. Knight from b to d7. Knight from g to e2. Rook to d8, aligning the rook with the queen, which is very often a very good idea. Perhaps also black king is putting on running shoes, so he can escape in case of <laughs> he has to run away. Uh, okay, now let's see how Fischer continues his attack. With next move, which is g4, he is keeping black busy on the king side, so black has never chance to launch his own counter-attack or pawn storm on the queen side. And now, what would happen if knight takes? Then we could have either rook to, from d to g1, or immediately bishop takes on g7, and if king takes, then we have this variation, and f3 and knight is lost. Okay, that's why after g4, uh, black didn't take the pawn, he played knight to f8, idea is to bring knight to e6 and protect the bishop on g7. White takes, and now the file is open for the rook. Knight to e6, and of course the rook from d to g1. Pinning the bishop, that's why black played king to h8. And Fischer takes the bishop, removing very important defender of black king. Knight takes. And how would you continue now in this position, if you had white pieces? If you saw this one, congratulations, this is what Fischer played. Uh, it's a very simple idea, queen takes on g7 checkmate. Black played rook to g8, and now Fischer wants to bring both rooks to g file, and he does this with a tempo. Rook to g5 attacking the queen, queen must move. Now rook from h to g1, and black is in big trouble. Perhaps uh, black went through many variations and didn't find solution. Even this variation is losing. Perhaps game could have continued like this. And checkmate. So instead black played knight to f5. But after Fischer captured the bishop, and black resigned. Why black resigned? Well, let's have a look at the most obvious variation here. If bishop takes now on f5, then rook takes, check. If queen takes, of course, then black is losing the queen. Well, if instead he takes with the knight, then queen g7 checkmate. What a game. 
Fischer winning against strong grandmaster is just in just 20 moves. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it.